Hello YouTube people, let me tell you why I sold my G-Shock uh, GWM5610 What a beautiful name for a watch Right, so at first, why have I even bought this watch? Well, the thing was, um, I had this G-Shock 5600BB uh, Which I loved it provoked me, uh, my inner child as you can see the end result it looks like any toy I had as a child that's the end result but that's why I loved it I made a compilation with this watch what kind of durability tests I did with this watch you can see the link in the description so after the final destroying this watch I kind of missed it, but I wanted something, I don't know, a bit more interesting, a bit more high-tech. <laughs> this one always felt, I don't know, a little bit lacking. I wanted always a little bit something more, some, something smarter, just, just at least to try. So uh, that G-Shock got my eye because it had all the things for a relatively reasonable price. 90 something euros that they paid uh, What it had that this one didn't it had solar panels atomic watch and most importantly auto Electroluminescent light well basically the light which turns on when you twist your wrist So I wanted that a lot. I thought wow, it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna love it and I wanted to try out the positive display. This one was negative. So I wanted to see what's what is all about, why people don't really like negative displays. So I have to try positive to see. So, okay, bought the watch. First impressions, uh, you know, it doesn't look really that good with all the text on the face. It, and positive screen also doesn't really look that good. <laughs> In my opinion in my personal preference and it wasn't really that sharp to look at that screen. I mean uh, I wouldn't say that it was better easier to read than this black screen G-Shock It was was basically the same and those numbers were not really that black black dark They were just very dark gray color and it just didn't look that sharp okay that, so that's the one point it wasn't really that cool of a watch i didn't feel that way at least and of course it also had those horrible buttons but i knew what i was buying and was okay with that but, you know, well but i have to mention those buttons suck <laughs> they are bad and another thing well speaking about solar power this is cool, but it's so unnecessary. I mean, I have this Skme with also solar power, but that's not the reason why I bought it. And that's not, that's not the reason why I bought that G-Shock. It's, uh, I thought, you know what, uh, this uh, black one has this all black face and I always wanted either the screen to be a little bit bigger or have something around it. It's just, it's too plain looking so that g-shock had solar panels which kind of filled the space and speaking design wise yeah it's fine it's fine but still you know after wearing it for a week i would say i would choose this this design and that's the only reason for solar panels for me they're just just how it looks like not the function i don't care about the function i can change the battery I have opened the back of this G-Shock several times and after opening the back I have actually frozen in ice this watch two times and washed it in washing machine and what can I say uh, the water resistance was not compromised just one thing when you open the back of a watch just don't forget to grease the rubber seal that's the most important part and don't over tighten the screws so 
that's the thing I'm not, I'm not afraid of changing batteries so I don't need solar panels another thing which was kind of interesting I wanted to try it was atomic what atomic timekeeping <laughs> it's, it sounds so amazing atomic timekeeping and the thing is uh, the place where I live in order to use that function I have to leave my watch on the refrigerator <laughs> throughout the night uh, it doesn't work on my bed so it kind of loses the point like what's the point of having this watch uh, this function which I cannot use while it's on my bed next to my pillow so how I gonna tell the time in the, in the middle of the night the watch is on the refrigerator <laughs> so anyway I played with that function yeah it's kind of cool it updates the time the atomic watch in my case that atomic watch I believe is in Germany and but you know on the second thought it's a quartz watch I never had a single problem with the accuracy of this quartz watch so that atomic timekeeping I'm sorry but that is gimmicky function <laughs> it's so unnecessary and after several tries several days I turned it off I and I haven't missed that function this like you set the time and the next time you check if the time is correct maybe in a year they they are very accurate you don't need that atomic time keeping is gimmicky nerdy unnecessary thing sorry for saying that but that's how it is and the main feature why I wanted that watch was automatic light you turn the watch and the light starts shining well in practice in real really uh, it isn't really that simple it doesn't always turn on you have to turn your wrist at a certain angle and sometimes it just doesn't work sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't at least in my case and you know that screen even though it's positive screen you still have to kind of get the right angle to really see the time you know especially in the dark your eyes have to focus on the watch you so twist the watch and you focus on the time and it's black again it shines only one and a half seconds like what what's what's even the point by the time i twist the watch and my eyes focus on the watch it's black <laughs> so i have to twist it again and okay i see the time so it was you know it wasn't shining for long enough even my me shines for longer time when i press it like three seconds easily that's perfect amount of time three seconds but on that g-shock you can't change the time for how long it's gonna shine and you know so i was not happy with that function and overall design of the watch eh, it was just meh it didn't provoke my inner child and it didn't make me happier well this watch did make me happy i love this watch i still love it <laughs> i'm still thinking about buying another one i'm just probably waiting for a sell-off on uh, on amazon and i'm probably gonna grab another one and i'm gonna love it so that's my opinion about the watch it wasn't really that good i didn't enjoy it too much but that was just for me <laughs> so that's why i sold it i made pictures of that watch and posted them on my facebook and my neighbor came up with an uh, offer that i couldn't resist so i had that watch only for a week and i sold it to my neighbor <laughs> i hope he is happy <laughs> okay thanks for watching goodbye <laughs>